This video is brought to you by the 3 Minute Board Game Patrons. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. Kia ora koutou and welcome to Dog Park in about 3 minutes. Review copy used. It has a solo mode, it's a game for 1-4 to four players, playing time is medium, and it's a reasonably simple game. You are a dog walker, trying to drum up as much business as you can. Can you become the best dog walker of all? The game lasts for four full rounds of play, tracked using the bird here. The winner is the player with the most points, which you get from a bunch of sources. Just look for the blue ribbons. Drafting. Each round you will draft two dogs from a central display. Set collection. Lots of points are scored by collecting sets of cards and resources. Player turn. Each round consists of drafting two dogs in the recruit phase, selecting dogs to walk, walking them, and then a reset phase. That is all tracked here. There is also a random card that changes the rules just for that round. Each player starts with five points and places their scoring marker. Place dogs equal to the number of players. Then starting with the first player, each player secretly bids points for dogs. You may bid for the same dog as another player. If only one player bid for a dog, that player gets it. Otherwise compare bids with the first player to place breaking ties. The losing bid takes the leftover dog. Pay the cost by moving your scoring marker back. Then reset the drafting pool and repeat the process a second time. You'll start the game with these resources. The legs act as though this is the second round and we have four dogs. The rightmost dog already has a lead marker on it to show it's been walked. Walking dogs gets you points and unwalked dogs lose you points. So we do want to walk them. We pay the cost shown on the dog card in resources and place them onto our lead board and put a walked marker on them. For the dash hund, we don't have another orange ball, but we can spend two of another resource in the place of any other. And it has a special ability that gives us a toy when adding him to the leash. So we can now afford to walk the third dog. We are now at the walking phase. The park board is modified with one of these cards each round. We line up our dog walkers in player order and each player may move one to four spaces along the track, claiming the resources shown in the space they land in. If you go to a space shared by another player, it costs you one point. Keep repeating this process of moving along the track until you leave it, with the players leaving claiming these bonus slots. The last player immediately moves to the end and loses points once the second to last player leaves the park. Most spots will gain you resources and points, but this one lets you draw two cards and replace one of the dogs in the drafting pool with it, while this one lets you swap a dog in your kennel, so not currently being walked, with one in the drafting pool losing its walked marker, unless the action also includes this symbol. Then gain two points for every dog you walk this turn, and lose two points for each one unwalked. Why would you like this game? Dog Park is a remarkably pleasant looking game with art that is easy on the eye and a core concept and theme that is super accessible. At its core, it's a drafting and set collection game that doesn't do anything exceptional or new, but it doesn't really need to. It's pitched as a non-confrontational game for couples and casual gaming groups, and that's exactly what it is. It nails the fundamentals needed to excel in this niche and wraps them up in a beautiful package, a winning combination. That all said, the amount of ways to score points in the game and just how dramatically different scores can be says to me there is a solid Solid core game here. I still think it best suits couples and casual gaming groups though, at least without the expansion. The oh, best thing about this game is that they're all good dogs, each and every single one of them. However, while there's not much bad to say about Dog Park, it's also not a game that pushes any unique or interesting ideas in game design. It's a wonderful looking, but very, very safe design, and it might be a bit simple for some serious gamers. The expansion adds a lot more complexity, and we will cover that in a short. For something similar but simpler, try Parks. And for something a little bit more involved, try raising robots. Dog Park, it's a good boy. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button, like, share, and subscribe to the channel.